Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to this morning's Walk of Fame ceremony. And a shout out to our fans watching our live stream presented by Variety. I'm Vin DeBona, here on behalf of the Hollywood Chamber. I've done a lot of things in my life, but never been flanked by two samurai. Today we are honoring a man who achieved more worldwide fame than any other Japanese actor of the century. A man who left us with a treasure trove of iconic roles. Today we honor the late Toshiro Mifune with the 2,594th star on the Walk of Fame. <laughs> Legendary actor Toshiro Mifune starred in over 150 films during the golden age of Japanese cinema. He's mostly known for his 16 films with director Akira Hisawa, uh, I'm Kira Kurosawa, and has become the archetype of the samurai. He was born in 1920 in China to Japanese parents who ran a small photo studio. He spent his childhood in Dailin, China, until he was drafted into the Imperial Japanese Army in 1940. Due to his background in photography, he served as an aerial photographer. Now, when the war ended, Toshiro was on the hunt, on the hunt for a job. He arrived at Toho Studios to apply for a position as a photographer. Ironically, his application was submitted to the acting division, and he ended up auditioning for an actor's position. During the audition, the interviewers made several rude comments to Toshiro. They wanted to get a reaction from him. Well, this made him furious, and the people who witnessed this compared him to a ferocious beast trapped in a cage trying to break free. His reputation quickly spread throughout, and rumors eventually reached director Akira Kurosawa. Although Toshiro had failed the audition, Kurosawa brought him back, and he was accepted as an understudy. Toshiro, unhappy about this, was convinced to stay in the actor's division until there was an opening in the photography department. Well, at age 27, he was selected to play a bandit in the Kurosawa film Snow Trail. After seeing Toshiro's performance, Kurosawa's belief in Toshiro was reassured. Toshiro's films include Drunken Angel, Stray Dog, Silent Duel, and Rashomon, which won the Golden Lion Award at the Venice Film Festival, placing Japanese cinema on the map. For years after the success of Rashomon, Toshiro and Kurosawa began working on their samurai epic, Seven Samurai, which later became their legacy. The film made Toshiro's filmdom, samurai, and icon. The collaboration between the two innovators continued, and they kept producing powerful films, such as Throne of Blood, Kurosawa's adaptation of Shakespeare's Macbeth, The Hidden Fortress, the film which influenced George Lucas's Star Wars, Yojimbo, which was made uh, as a remake, Clint Eastwood's Fistful of Dollars, and Redbeard, which won him Second Best Actor Award at the Venice Film Festival. After Redbeard, he began his international career with the Mexican film called The Important Man. The film was nominated for an Oscar for Best Foreign Picture. His other films include Grand Prix, Red Sun, Hell in the Pacific, and 1941, directed by Steven Spielberg. Mufuni, The Last Samurai, a new film by Oscar-winning filmmaker Stephen Okazaki will open theatrically in Los Angeles on December 2nd, as well as in New York and San Francisco. A wider national release will follow. The film explores the accidental movie career of Toshiro Mifune, one of the true giants of world cinema. Just last night, AFI Fest 2016 presented by Audi, screened the film to rave reviews. And now it's time to hear from 
one of our speakers. Stephen Okazaki, our first speaker, is today's recipient of numerous honors, including an Academy Award, four Oscar nominations, a Primetime Emmy, the George Foster Peabody Award, and more. Is there any more? I can't imagine any more. Survivors, his film, Unfinished Business, Days of Waiting, Hunting Tiger, The Black Tar Heroin, and the, Miss, uh, and the Mushroom Club, and many others. His latest project is Mifuni, The Last Samurai, a feature documentary about his childhood hero, Toshimo, uh, Toshiro Mifuni. Please welcome film director Stephen Okazaki to the stage. Thank you, Vaughn. Um, it's a great pleasure for me to be here. Um, I grew up in Los Angeles, in Venice, and uh, we, you know, as kids in the neighborhood, we'd play, you know, cowboys, and uh, I don't know, we'd divide up into sharks and jets, inspired by West Side Story. Uh, but when we saw Seven Samurai by Kira Kurosawa, and the uh, Samurai Trilogy by Hiroshi Inagaki, we all wanted to be samurai and uh, got our parents to take us down to Little Tokyo so we could get these cheap little uh, wood swords that, you know, if you actually hit something, they would break, of course. Um, and um, I think, you know, it was really powerful. Uh, this 19, in the 1950s and 60s, um, Mifune, there was no one like Mifune. I mean, on American television, there was uh, Hop Sing on Bonanza, and... Um, very little else, and uh, Asians were either not visible or in sort of demeaning uh, small roles. And so the, the, the power of Mifune, I don't think there, I cannot imagine an actor who had that kind of screen presence, you know, uh, who just, you know, um, he, you know, people always say, you know, they thought he was like, you know, Six, six and a half feet tall, he was so powerful, but he was, of course, much smaller. And, but his, you know, his dynamism. Um, anyway, it's a very uh, proud moment that uh, uh, um, Toshiaki Nakazawa allowed me to make this film and um, that we had the support of the Mifune family and they're, they're both here. So it's a very proud moment and uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you, Steve, and I'd like to give a shout out now to um, the chair of the Hollywood Chamber, Dr. Fariba Kalantari. Fariba? I'd also like to acknowledge the Council General of Japan, Akira Chiba. And I believe Walker Famer and Supreme Actor Martin Landau. And I do mean Supreme Actor. Next up is Hollywood's greatest booster, Councilman Mitch O'Farrell of the 13th District, on hand to make a city resolution presentation. Pre please welcome Councilman Mitch O'Farrell. Thank you so much, Vin. I think this might be one of the first times that a star recipient is also emceeing the event. So congratulations, Vin. It gives me great pleasure to be here. Uh, Consul General, thank you so much for attending as well. Distinguished guests, I think it's a testament to the power of film that nearly 20 years after his passing, Tashira Mufune, will be memorialized for all future generations from across the world. How about a big round of applause for his legacy and the power of cinema? <laughs> Tashiro Mifune had such presence uh, and his, his power, his internal life, his truth and his authenticity and his integrity translated in every role he ever did. And the, the beauty of cinema is that language is never a barrier. 
uh, and great works of art can be expressed, great truths through the characters that he portrayed uh, can be expressed through the power of cinema. And I am pretty convinced that he is one of the most accomplished actors ever to grace film in any genre and any of any nationality. Uh, you know, I also want to give a shout out to the Hollywood Walk of Fame because through these events and through the Walk of Fame, you provide an opportunity for fans of television and film and uh, music um, and radio, an opportunity to come here and en enjoy those that they're here to celebrate and learn and become educated on the history that is Hollywood. There is no other place like it in the world, but other places in the world do try to recreate Hollywood, but just know that this is where it all began, uh, and this is the place to come to enjoy uh, and partake in the great history of cinema. Um, I just got to say that it's such an honor to be here, um, and I'm, I'm really so pleased to uh, be able to honor uh, Toshiro Mufune and his family and all of his friends and colleagues who um, are so, have been so graced by his talent and, and by his legacy um, that I would now like to invite Rikia Mufune to the stage, uh, Toshiro Mufune's, Mufune's grandson, uh, to receive a token of our gratitude from the city of Los Angeles, um, showing that city leaders understand the considerable contribu contributions of his late grandfather and that we acknowledge his incredible talent uh, and his legacy known the world over. Please step forward. Thank you. You got it. As you know, accepting on behalf of the Mufune family, Rakia, grandson of the late Toshiro Mufune, he's the consulting producer for the documentary film Mufune, The Last Samurai. He studied film production at the New York Film Academy. At age seven, he debuted as an actor in Hong Kong Golden Harvest film Extreme Crisis, and since then has made several appearances in Japanese films. Please welcome the president of Mafune Productions, Rakia Mafune. Thank you very much. Um, first of all, um, on the behalf of the Mifune family, I would like to thank everybody here today. Um, it's been a very special day for uh, Toshiro Mifune, and many of the guests here have made travel arrangements from all over the world uh, just to support this event. Uh, next year, it will be 20 years since Mifune passed away, and it is great to know that his accomplishments are still acknowledged and appreciated. His old films are being digitally restored as well as remade, and we are very glad that there is a lot of excitement about this event. Honestly, I hope that this event um, ha could have taken place while he was still present. Uh, my grandfather passed away when I was nine years old, so the memories I have of him are mainly as a grandfather figure, but I remember him as a gentleman at home. He would talk in a gruff and manly manner and always have perfect posture like a true samurai, even at home. I was able to discover many things about my grandfather as an actor throughout the pro production process of the film Mifune, The Last Samurai, directed by uh, director Steven Okazaki, uh, which screened last night at the AFI Fest, as mentioned. The film will begin its theatrical release um, from the end of the month, and I hope everybody has a chance to see it. 
I would like to thank the director, Steven Okazaki, for taking on this difficult task. And I cannot think of anyone more suited for the job. And my family and I are very proud of this uh, completed film. And I'm sure my grandfather would feel the same. Steven has been very dedicated to the film throughout the whole production process. And on set, I thought he was a true samurai. Um, I would also like to thank uh, the producer, Mr. Toshiaki Nakazawa. Um, he was the executive producer as well as the initiator of this film. And he has worked with uh, Toshiro Mifune for many years at Mifune Production during the golden age of Japanese cinema. And after establishing his own production company, Setic International, he has produced many powerful Japanese films such as 13 Assassins, Over Your Dead Body, and of course, Departures, which won the Foreign Best Picture Award at the 81st Annual Academy Awards. I hope that the Japanese film industry will be able to continue producing powerful and globally accepted films such as Godzilla, Ghibli films, and Kurosawa films. I think it is part of my obligation to keep Toshiro's legacy alive as well as to develop more internationally accepted films that represent Japan. I truly believe in the power of film and that films are borderless and go beyond language, culture, and uh, racial differences. Um, last but not least, I would like to mention special thanks to Mr. Uh, Watanabe from the Tokyo Restaurant Factory, who will be opening the Mifune Restaurant in New York next January, keeping Mifune's legacy alive through Japanese cuisine. Also, uh, producer Taro Goto, who helped organize this event. And finally, to all of the Mifune fans around the world, keeping Mifune's samurai spirit alive. Thank you, and that's all from me. Thank you very much. One more thing before we unveil the star. In memory of our late honorary mayor, Johnny Grant, whose picture is right here. I think he may have left it here for us to remember him. But in doing so, we declare this to Shiro Mifuni Day in Hollywood. Now let's go unveil the star. Straight ahead. 
You guys want a kneeling or standing? Kneeling. Oh. Maybe we can get the picture. Can you put the picture in closer? Yeah. Perfect. 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 And now here to your left. You still got to your left. And right here. Listen to them. One more right here, if you mind, right in front. Over to your right. Straight ahead. Before that. And back to the left, sir. Okay. Congratulations, Ricky. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do one with the Consul General. Okay. How about the Samurai? Samurai. Samurai. We need the Samurai. Let me do that in a second. Yeah, shut up. Consul General. Consul General. Let's start out straight ahead, folks. Okay. And everybody to your left. And uh, right in front. Thank you. 